What's up, YouTube? I'm going to go over the uh, one other game I lost in this uh, seven-round tournament. Um, the last video was the first game I lost. And here we are going into, I think this is round six. And we got a guy playing a modern defense. I don't really know this opening very well. Should d3 seems to make the most sense to me because he's threatening to kick my knight and win this pawn. Probably some lines where you sacrifice it, but probably not usually very good. And um, here I went queen side. Or wait, no, I didn't castle yet. I played on um, e5. Takes, 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 takes. And um, I'm not supposed, just not supposed to be very good for uh, white according to the engine. And I wasn't really pleased about this development, but um, yeah, anyway, he's hitting this twice. So I attack the queen, threatens trade queens, he takes me up on it. And now I do castle. And a5 seems a little ambitious. He's not developing his pieces, he's just trying to attack. He played bishop f4, engine likes bishop e3. I guess taking advantage of this hole. Although. I don't know, I was thinking knight a6 would stop me from going here. Well, yeah, then rook d7 is a little annoying for black. Though I still don't see, oh yeah, he's losing his pawn. So, um, okay, but I played bishop f4. And, um, yeah, this move's pretty timid. And yeah, I, I played e6, the, the right idea. He takes, and knight into here. Threatening this pawn in the square. I go back, and yeah, now I have a good position. Play knight a6. And uh, another idea I missed was h4. It's funny, it's a very common idea to attack the uh, king with a pawn storm when your castle's on the opposite side. I'm not sure why I didn't think of um, h4. My move is also good, uh, pinning this pawn. But for some reason, I didn't think about h4 this whole game. I don't know why. And now, here's an idea I missed. Um, the idea I missed is, uh, yeah, usually when you think of penetrating on the open file, you think about getting to the seventh with your rook. But here, I actually had this unusual move on um, knight, to e7, knight to d7, excuse me. And um, yeah, it controls this knight. So this knight's basically a dead piece. And it threatens. To uh, just come win this pawn. Um, for instance, I'll just give the engine line. Um, here, the engine likes knight b6, but now it likes bishop g4. And it's really hard to defend um, defend this pawn. The king here, we have this. Actually, the position's so good that it doesn't even want to win the exchange, it just wants to keep uh, piling up pressure. Um, yeah. And if push, well, this knight can move at any time and hit this rook. And the engine just wants to um, blast open the king side. Yeah, and these pieces are not so impressive here. Um, yeah, so th this would have been a great move, kind of an unusual move. And it caught my eye. And that's, that's the main thing I wanted to make the video on. Instead, I did the more typical rook penetration. But I just walked right into this. And as soon as I made this move, I thought, ah, oh, I'm just helping him develop. So I came back. Uh, the engine still thinks I have a nice edge. Let's see, where did I go wrong? Yeah, I, I just didn't consider the weak squares. Like, I saw e6 right away, but then I didn't take advantage of it. So, yeah, I'm not really sure why. Yeah, cute, just driving away this, this knight, and yeah, I'm still winning. But instead I got all scared about this problem, which is not even a problem, as long as my knight stays there. And uh, yeah, and still bishop here would have been good. But now I'm just letting get counterplay. And again, bishop g4. Yeah, I think I was a little tilted by the earlier loss. And also this is blitz. So, 
Yeah, bishop d4 is still good, but now I just start losing um, losing all my pieces, and yeah, I resign here. I'm just down too much material. I suppose even even here the engine, well not engine says here, but even here, this is an idea. I mean the position's totally lost, but uh, I wonder why I don't take care first. The engine says take the bishop. Why not do this? Oh. Yeah, yeah. So um, definitely, I recommend to uh, look at all your games, especially your losses with the engine, because yeah, in both of these games, I was very much winning, but I just kind of fumbled around. And it's funny sometimes you see tactics, but you don't know how to create the positions to make them occur. And in this game, positionally, I played well after the poor opening with this move, but then. Yeah, and then I put my knight here, but then I never followed through. So uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.